Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Concepts video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a ground slam ability as you saw in the demo. By the way, this is only for Bedrock Edition and all the commands featured as well as the link to the world download will be down below. And also, unfortunately, this command only works for one, for one person at a time, so let's get into it. So first off, you're going to need to make three commands. For the first one, go slash scoreboard, objectives add, ground slam, with a criteria of dummy. Next, we're going to do the same command two more times, but make what the name for one, Grand Slam CD, short for cooldown, and the other one, Grand Slam Timer. Now, once you've made those score wards, to give the player the ability, we're going to give them a score of zero in the Grand Slam um, scoreboard. And we're also going to give them a snowball that they can't drop by locking it. You can learn more about locking items by clicking the link on the top right. Anyway, to make the actual jumping effect, now that the player is in the scoreboard, we need a repeating always active command block that constantly executes at the position of snowballs and it tries to set the closest player who has a score of 0 in the grand slam scoreboard in a radius of 2 from the snowball and it will set their score to 1. Next, in another repeating command block, copy the same execute command that executes at the position of snowballs but this time make it so it affects people whose score is 1 in the grand slam scoreboard in a radius of 2 from the snowball, to have levitation 55 for 1 second. Now in a chain conditional command block coming from that repeating command block, it will execute at everyone whose score in the grand slam scoreboard is 1, and it kills the closest snowball from that person. Then in another chain conditional command block, it sets everyone who has a score of 1 in the grand slam scoreboard to have a score of 4 in the grand slam timer scoreboard. Then from that, it sets anyone whose grand slam score is 1 to have a grand slam score of 2. Otherwise, this command will always be looping and setting the player's Grand Slam timer to 4. Now we're going to be clearing their levitation effect because 1 second is way too long. We're turning them into freaking Mars or something. So that's why we set their Grand Slam timer to 4, as a, you guessed it, a timer, to time how long they've been up in the air. So this repeating command block always removes 1 from everyone whose score is not 0 in the Grand Slam timer scoreboard. So once it's counted down from 4, it would clear their levitation. You can also set how much it sets the timer to be higher or lower, depending on how high you want them to jump. So let's say I make this 10, it will make me jump much higher, like so. Now for the actual ability aspect, like the particles, the damage, and how it breaks some blocks underneath you. I only made it break grass because I didn't want it wrecking my redstone slash mans. So we're going to execute at everyone whose grand slam score is 2, because remember we, we set the score to 2 back there. And we're going to test if the block underneath them is air. And we're going to invert this because we want to test if the block underneath them is not air, meaning that they've reached the ground. So to do this, put a compounder coming out of it, going into a block with redstone torch on it. Now that's going to power all these command blocks at the same time. So the first three are just to play some particles. And for some of them, I made them play twice because the more particles, the better. Because who doesn't like boom boom explosion effects? But remember, I'm putting all these commands in the description, so you can just copy and paste them there. But over here, I made it so it fills the blocks underneath at the player's location to air. And I also made it do instant damage to everyone in a radius of 3, with a minimum radius of 1 from the player, so it doesn't damage the player themselves. And now at the end, with a repeater, to make sure all this stuff happens first before this does, it just sets their score to 3 in um, the Grand Slam scoreboard, so all this stuff doesn't keep happening every time a block underneath them is air, like if they jump. But now for the cooldown. So as the person is up in the air, the cooldown should happen. So in a repeating command block, it sets players who have a score of 1 to 4 in the Grand Slam timer scoreboard um, to have a score of 11 in the Grand Slam cooldown scoreboard. And in another repeating command block, it has a 20 tick delay, meaning that it only activates every second, since 20 ticks equals 1 second. So it removes 1 from the Grand Slam cooldown scoreboard to everyone whose score isn't already 0. So basically it's the same as this command but with different scoreboards. And now we just need to do the titles to display the amount of time left for the cooldown. And to give them the ability again when it reaches 0. To do this we need to display a title to everyone whose Grand Slam cooldown is equal to 10. And to say that there's 10 seconds left in the cooldown. Now just repeat this for every number until we get to 0 seconds. You just need to replace the number of the text and the number it displays as the title, and then keep on doing it till zero. And at the end, just make it say the ability is ready, to people whose grand slam cooldown is zero and whose grand slam is three. And in a chain conditional command block from that, you need to remove them from the grand slam timer, give them another snowball, 
and set the Grand Slam scoreboard back to zero. And that's it, now you've got a fully working Grand Slam ability. Hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, comment down below or you can join my Discord server and ask me there. But yeah, see you in the next one.